Hello once again and we're going to have a game of Back to the Future on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum and why not indeed. Here we go. So I reviewed it on mainly everything else so I thought it would be fitting enough to review it on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum also. So let's get this game straight underway. Um, this don't look like Michael J Fox to me. It looks more like Jeremy Clarkson back in the 80s. Oh, I've got a skateboard. Let's see the performance of my skateboard. Yes. Oh, this is awesome skateboard. Where have I fucking gone? Oh, it's Doc Brown. Um, radiation soup there. Oh, I think I need that to put the plutonium in my DeLorean time machine. I've got to get my mother and my father back together again. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get in my time machine and activate the flux capacitor and turn the time circuits on and get back to 1985 with Doc Brown, of course. Right, so what do we have to do? <laughs> Is get, as I said, we've got to get uh, different objects and... Um, so we've obviously gone back to 1955. Um, so we've interfered with um, when they met, of course, your mother and your father, back in 1955, and we got to repair the damage. Ah, oh, fucking hell, I've been punched by Biff. Um, so every time you make a mistake, or like L L Lorraine is following us about, because she's got the hots for us, um, your picture starts to disappear and when your pictures does disappear you erase from existence as we punch Biff in the face. Listen mum, go away, I'm trying to get the DeLorean so we can go back to 1985 and road test the car which is a piece of shit really because it was designed, well the design was alright but it was put together by idiots then might as well have been working for British Leyland because they're rubbish <laughs> sorry um, <laughs> now the DeLorean was a good car actually even though it was a bit temperamental basically because it was built by idiots but that's another story but <laughs> right so oh, I've been fucking kicked in the face by Biff again so he's trying to get um, with Elaine too, as well as trying to fucking thump us to the ground. Um, yeah, it's not it's not an easy game to play. I have to say this Am this this Amstrad version, this Spectrum version, um, plays better than the Amstrad CPC version because that was just slow. It was crap. Um, even though you know there's a little bit more colour here on the Spectrum. Um, I know it was colourful in the Amstrad, it was more colourful, but it was slower, it was shitter. Even though this game is pretty shit itself. Um, also reviewed it on the Commodore 64. Um, so now our picture's starting to come back, so we must have done something right. So different objects do different things, but it's just getting the right object to the right person. Um, so now she can't really follow us, now we've got our skateboard. Um, and it's Biff trying to fucking, just fucking go. We can't punch when you're on your skateboard, unfortunately. Um, now our picture's disappearing again. Um, <laughs> yeah, Back to the Future. All three of them were great films. Still are to watch. Oh, bastard. Fucking Biff. Now he's gone into the hall. Now, what do we do? Because I know sod all about this game. Right. Uh, Fuck's sake, now Elaine's coming back. Piss off, Mum. Um. <laughs> yeah. The, basically, this is the game. This is it, what I've seen. This is the game. And when you completed it, oh, it's game over. Once you completed it, you go to your DeLorean and go back off to 1985. So, it is a bit of a shit game, to be honest with you. I didn't like it back in the day when I had it for my Amstrad. Mm. And we get a little bit of different music to end it with. And I'm going to end the review now. Oh, I, ain't, I ain't playing it no more. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.